good day guys welcome to part two of design of solar inverter for beginners so in our last uh, in our last video we talked about so many things like the signal topology dc ac and how inverter converts dc to ac using this diagram here after explaining how the mechanism how inverter converts convert DC to AC. Now in this circuit here, there is a problem that if we ignore, we might not get what we need. And what is that problem? Is the voltage. Rem remember this DC, we are making use of 12 volts DC. And this DC, which is 12 volts, after being converted to AC, if you measure the voltage of this converted uh, DC, it will be 12 volt AC. And most of our, our appliances that we use at home operates in 120 to 20 volts AC. So that is the problem with this circuit that I draw here. So in order to overcome this problem, we will introduce what we call transformer. With the help of this transformer, it will boost the 12 volts uh, DC that we, that we convert to AC into a higher, volt, a higher voltage of AC that can be able to power our AC load. So we are going to replace this AC load with the transformer with this connection so before we do that let's talk about transformer a little bit of uh, how transformer behave how to do the load calculation looking at this diagram this is a transformer this is the coil this is a, a round a wrapped round a round a wire and this is the ion sheet in a transformer, we have what we call the primary and the secondary. The primary being the input and the secondary being the output. And meanwhile, in, in, in transformer, we have two types of transformer. We have a step-up transformer and step-down transformer. Whenever you, are, you put a 220 volt, 220 volt uh, AC as your input into the primary, and you want to get something like 12 volts AC or 24 volts AC, that transformer is known as step-down transformer. So if we apply 220 volts here and we measure the voltage here and it is 12 volts or below more than the input voltage, it is known as step-down transformer. But in a, in a, in a, in a situation where, where we are in, increasing the voltage, by applying a lower voltage into the primary to, to, uh, to get a higher voltage into the secondary, it's known as step-up transformer. I know some of you might be confused, why did I say primary? This primary simply signifies anything that is your input. If you are using this side, if you are put anything that is your input is known as your primary. So even though it is in a step-down, transformer or in a step up transformer the place that you use as your input will be your primary and the place that you use as your output will be your secondary and we have these two type of transform uh, winding we have the center tapped one and we have the normal one full just like normal people call it full full bridge transformer but this one is center tap half winding half winding Whenever we are making use of this center tap, we are going into the, what we call push-pull topology. That's when our topology comes in. And that will be the first thing that we are going to look at. Push-pull topology. After seeing the signal, then we will discuss how to do the load calculation. In a transformer, there is this, this root governing transformer, which is the power. The, the rule of a, a transformer states that the input power 
must be equal to the output power. So it will be equivalent, it will be equal. Both the voltage and the current being supplied to the input and the voltage and the current being supplied to the output must equal to the power of the whole transformer. Let me explain better. Looking at this, in order to get voltage or current, we, we use you know, the Ohm's law, which is power divided by voltage, you get your current. Or if you are looking for voltage, you do power divided by current, you get your voltage. So let's assume in now, for this case, in order to get power, in order to know your, the power of your transformer, all you need to do is to the voltage times the current you get you will get the power of your transformer let me do this by by showing you some examples look at this this example here this is a 1000 watts transformer and we are to apply 220 volts at the input to get 12 volts at the output. So this transformer is rated 1000 watts. And now let's see the relationship between the, the voltage, the input voltage and the current and the output voltage and the current to match with the, the rating of the, the power rating of the transformer. So like we say, we say that the input voltage is 220 and we are expecting 220, uh, 12 volts at the output. So let's check it. In order to get the current flowing in the input voltage, all you need to do is do 1000 watts divided by 220 volts, according to Ohm's law. And it will give you 4.54 some value amps. I just omitted the, the other values. So it will give you 4.54 plus additional values that I omitted amps. Then for the secondary, 1000 watts divided by 12 volts, it will give you 83.33 with omitted numbers amps. So this is the, 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 the amperage that will be flowing through the secondary side. And if we want to confirm if the input power and the output power must be equal. This is it. If we do 12 volts times 8.33, it will give us 999.96, which is equivalent to 1000. And the same thing goes for the input voltage. It will give you, the if you approximate it, it will give you also the 1000. That is how transformer power is being calculated. Now the question now is that since we say that is it is 83.33 amps that will be flowing in this secondary, does it mean that if you use your ammeter to put across these two terminals that you will be seeing 83.33 amps? No, you won't see 83.33 amps. But what this simply means that you can draw up to 83.33 amps in this output side. For example, this, this secondary side is rated 83.33 amps and you put a load that is drawing 10 amps, you will see that this coil will be safe because you are not drawing the you are not drawing above the, the maximum rating of this side. So it will be safe. But if you are drawing something like 100 amps, you will see that you are drawing more than the rating. And it will start heating up. It will start heating up this this wire, and from the heating up, the wire might, the not might, the wire will melt and get damaged. So that's why it is good to keep the range of your calculated voltage. And you, if you see the relationship of this thing, now one thing you ask yourself: since this is a step down transformer, and we apply two twenty volts to be converted to to be step down to twelve volts. Where is the remaining voltage? Now, that is the question that you ask yourself. Now, let me explain it. The remaining voltage is not being thrown away because energy cannot be destroyed. It is being converted to amps. That's why you see the amperage of this side is high more than the amperage of the, 
the input side. If you see the, the uh, if you see the the current flowing through the input side, you see that it's four point five four amps. But if you see the current flowing through the secondary side, is you you will see that it's it is eighty three point three three amps, which is the SS voltage is being converted to amps. Okay, that is how transformer works. Now, uh, what uh, what next that I'm going to tell you is that in in our in in the in the upcoming video, I will tell you how to use this center tab because the first inverter that we are going to make is going to be based on square wave after knowing how inverter works so i will show you the switching mechanism of this transformer how it works and another thing is that if to calculate the load of a uh, of an inverter it depends on the transformer and the mosfet just like this transformer is rated 1000 watts which means the secondary side can handle up to 83 amps and that's why if you see the secondary side their wire is very thick they have they have thicker wire because of the the cap so that the wire can be capable of handling the the required current so that's why you see the wire the wire winding of a secondary side is more thicker than the input side so in this case in this case of uh, this diagram that we are doing here the terminal that we are going to put here is not the terminal of the 220 this will serve as a step, step up transformer we are going to use the terminal the secondary side that is rated 12 volts that's what we are going to connect here so that once the switching happens 12 volts will flow in in the way of alternative current so that it will boost it to 220 volts so that we can get 220 volts at the output see what i mean this terminal is 12 volts so we are going to connect this terminal to the to the, the switching side and we take our output here so if we are to label this thing here will be our primary and here will be our secondary because we say that anything that you use as your input is known as primary and anything that you use as your output is known as secondary because whenever you are going into school you will first of all enter primary school before going to secondary school so that is the basic of uh, this transformer so like if you want to calculate the wattage of the capacity of your your inverter it depends on this transformer and um, and the MOSFET so in our next video I will show you how to calculate for the most weight i have just shown you about the transformer so in our next video when we are talking when we'll be talking about the switching how to replace the switch with a mosfet then we'll also talk about the ratings things that you should consider in a mosfet while designing an inverter so guys i hope this this video is so help, uh, helpful and if you know that you gain something from this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel so thank you guys and see you in the next video.